Hi, I am Megan Lopez and I am interviewing Sadie Ashers for my AP Eng English and Composition class. Our topic is fur farming. So, hi, how are you today? I'm fine, Megan. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, so are you aware of animals being farmed for their fur? Uh, <coughs> I'm aware of, uh, it's not so prevalent nowadays. And especially in the U.S., um, and, you know, because a lot of people um, are against it because they think it's cruelty to animals. Um, back when I was younger, it was a popular thing. And I was aware of it. My mother had mink coats. Uh, my relatives had chinchillas. They had the foxes. And it's still a popular thing, I think, in England to hunt foxes and things like that. But perhaps they still use some of that. They're for, for that kind of thing. Uh, so, I'm, it's not so prevalent now, but I do know a time where, yes, I am aware of it. Okay. Um, secondly, do you know of the conditions they live in and how it affects them? Um, no, I, I suppose that they're pretty much like any farming, like someone farming chickens or someone farming any kind of little animals. They're probably caged and fed to their, you know, proper size and taken care of to a certain point. Uh, I'm assuming because it's fur they're looking for, they take pretty good care of them so the fur looks pretty good until the time that they have to use them to uh, use their coats. Okay. Um, thirdly, how do you... How do you feel now knowing how awfully mistreated these animals are being farmed? Well, I've never seen a fur farming, uh, I've seen a chicken farm, uh, I haven't seen, I've seen cows and pens, horses and, and things like that. I have never seen a, uh, a farming facility for like furs or, you know, minks or chinchillas or foxes or, I've never seen how they go about it. So I'm, I don't know how cruel they are treated or what they're, they're put in or how it's done. But like I'm saying, I'm assuming that they must take pretty good care of them uh, because they want their coats to look, you know, top notch because they're trying to sell it. So I, I don't know if it's cruel, if they treat them cruel or, you know, or not. Okay. And do you believe fur farming should be banned and... If yes, would you protest it to the government? <laughs> well, we got to go back. Uh, a lot of people, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna say no to fur farming, you got to remember that cows, you know, we use leather all the time. Are we gonna stop doing that? <laughs> because it's, you know, <laughs> so um, no, it, it's been a thing that people have used it, you know, not just for the pretty of it. But some people, you know, if you go way back, they use it to keep warm. They use it for a different reason. They use it for like uh, making not just coats and stuff, their blankets or whatever they needed to do. So um, I think, you know, I don't want any animal to be treated cruelly, you know. But if there's a purpose for using an animal in that sense, like for warmth or, or you know, we're not in Alaska, I don't know what they use, you know, I'm sure they use all kinds of different animals for different reasons, so I can't say that that I'm against it. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Huh?